So when Shaitan is threatening us with poverty, they don't fear. And this is why when we do not use restraint on our ego and we do not attack that lust in ourselves and that anger, when Allah Almighty, see, Allah's nature is that He's going to give us anyway. He's given us blessings in it anyway. And so if Allah is giving us a blessing and he's giving us material things to make us comfortable and what have you, if we have that anger and we have that lust in us, shaitan can actually take that from us and threaten us with it, causing us to lose our souls. So now we're left with, oh, I have to get those things. And that's how the whole society is set up now. There is no economic crisis. That's just an illusion. And Shaitan uses that same mentality now to enslave all humanity. Make them think that there's a drought in this and a drought in that. Putting prices out of the reach of people. And their incomes not going up, not being able to reach the inflation. This is all a test. And that's why when Allah Almighty sends the fast, and we're fasting, no matter how poor you are, which you don't have, or which you do have, you do not, your mind, your heart cannot be centered on that. Because Allah Almighty on that empty stomach opens up your heart to your soul. And you feel a very strong sense of connection to Allah Almighty that has everything, that's in control of everything. And that's why shaitan comes on us to, for us to make excuses why we cannot reach to that part of ourselves. By making us to feel like I can't do this. Thereby putting us in situations when there are difficulties, we will be the first ones that will be in difficulty. It teaches us how we may be able to be more in tune with those who do not have those pains of hunger, the thirst, the dry lips. Sometimes we're weak. It is to get us in tune with everything from the lowest to the high. All the prophets, may Allah be pleased with them, they dealt with all the people from the lowest to the highest. All the people were after those people were after the prophets of Allah Almighty. They were Muslims, those who submitted their will totally to Allah Almighty. So they had all the sustenance coming through them and the people were feeding from them. Because Allah says the heavens and the earth cannot contain him. But the heart of his believers can contain him. So Allah sends his believers to be among people to give them their sustenance. Joseph was in prison for they don't know how many years. The king was having a dream. He interpreted a dream that there would be years that we would be prosperous. Then there would be years of famine. Joseph came out and he told, not only did the king have to ask him about the dream, he told the king about the dream. And he taught the king how to fast. So that when they had plenty, they would not spend thrift. Because we have the tendency that when we have a lot, we spend a lot. And so shaitan has set it up where you have a sale. There's a sale here to sell. Oh, I can save some money. It's a sale. But if you don't spend the money, you still save money. It's always going to be a sale on something that we think we desire. Because shaitan puts those desires in us. We have not learned yet how to take the, what we are, the, the message that we are getting through Islam to be able to relate it in our everyday lives. So then when there was a famine, everybody else around in the territories were without. But the storehouse was with the king because Joseph had advised the king that when there was plenty, use it wisely. Distribute it wisely. So the people didn't have anything. So they heard the word got out that Joseph was helping everybody. 
So they had to come through Joseph. Joseph now was a distributor of the wealth. What did Joseph do, alayhi salam? Take them, tell them about their Lord and his Lord. It is the same reality for those who use restraint that Allah is able to test them. Allah will make all of Dunya to be their servant. When all have to come to those Allah's servants for their sustenance. We don't have to lose our mind and our souls in being threatened by Satan. Lustful for the things of this life, willing to do anything for the things of this life, and be angry if we don't get the things of this life. Give anything and everything for the things of this life. That's why in one month, in one month, and even in that month, Allah Almighty has sent a day in there that's worth a thousand months of worship. In one month, one can reach the level of Joseph, alayhi salam, where the dunya becomes a servant of those whom Allah Almighty can trust because they fight the enemy of Allah Almighty, which is our ego. But Allah Almighty allows us to initiate the first move. Allah says, you fight my enemies, I fight your enemies. That's the relationship of the oneness. And that's why we don't understand the importance of being able to put, use restraint on ourselves by denying that part of ourselves that's going to be rebellious to our Lord. Why should we feed it? Why should we listen to it? Why should we take care of something that's going to be rebellious to Allah Almighty? And also leave us in the lurch. That's the Satan that Allah Almighty has put with us. And then the big Satan is able to coerce it and seduce it. And so we have, an, have power over that lust and anger. No matter what Allah Almighty gives us. Shaitan is going to take it. And that's why when Musa salam, and Kidda salam, when they went to those people in, those, in that village and they were not giving hospitality and they left and Kidda salam was building that wall and Musa was like, why are you building this wall up to people who gave us no hospitality? Kedda was saying that there are two orphans there and their parents passed away and left the inheritance of those two youth. And so I have to guard it and protect it because if I allow it, those walls to fall and come apart, then they will lose their inheritance. When we don't have a control of our ego, then our walls come down, our treasures are exposed, and Shaitan is able to take our treasures. The fasting gives us a protection for our treasure so when we mature, we can use that treasure, we can spend it in the way of Allah Almighty as opposed to spend it in the way of Shaitan. And that's why we have nothing. And that's why we are not divided and conquered as humanity because we have lost our restraint. We've lost our patience. Allah says those who are patient and they patiently persevere, the reward I give them, there is no measure. You can't count it. So those who are wise, that's what they strive for. They know that this world is difficult, but it's going to be more difficult struggling for the things of this world than it is for struggling for Allah Almighty's pleasure. Allah gave us 30 days. At one time, the prophets, may Allah be pleased with them, they had to fast 40 days with no water and no food. Now we have only the daylight hours. 